Hey everybody, I am back for an update. I got some new shoes. I love it. I'm excited. So, dun, 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 dun. what? What is this? These don't look new. These are the same shoes I got before. Okay, so with these shoes, which I love, I had an issue. These are the Merrill Trail Glove Barefoot, and they are the older version. So we're gonna point out some changes for better or for worse but I went running with these the other day and I got this which was not comfortable but I was happy it was only this size because when I hit about mile five it felt like it was this big and like all of that section so I was just looking forward to uh, lots of pain and that sucking but it was only about the size of a silver dollar for you who know what a silver dollar still looks like but the reason I did that is because we have uh, a dryer that doesn't stop apparently uh, which we're swapping out tomorrow wonderfully but inside here you can see there is a crease I washed these and I dried them and it didn't stop and it, they shrank and there's a crease right in there and after about four and a half miles that had rubbed the crease and the edge right there that is all worn had rubbed enough for me to get that blister to be a problem. Now these shoes are my favorite shoes ever because they don't, well before now, they didn't hurt or cause any kind of discomfort at all and I have used them for mostly trail running and I put in, I'm going to show you desktop page on Nike Fit, or Nike Plus now. I've used them for 214.8 miles. If it looks backwards, I apologize. But, see, I'm going to show you. I'll scroll up all the way. This is me. And... And I keep running, and that was my run on September 4, uh, 2016, yes it was a midnight run, and 6 miles, which is a fairly common easy going run for me, I guess you can see it, sorry, these choppy angles, there we go. Okay, so my foot in, give me a big old blister, and I decided to take a few days off for that to heal. But after 215 miles, they are kind of worn, and they've got some holes. And oh, that there's another hole. That one is actually from being next to the campfire because I took these on my King's Peak run as well for some more. They're well loved, and I think that the tread is not too bad for the mileage. I like them, I like them so much that. Inside this box, 
I actually do have a brand new pair. So, these are the Merrill Trail Glove Barefoot 3. They're pretty. We'll see how they fit. Probably do an update in 50 miles or so just to see how they're doing. It's the exact same size I got here and when I put these on at the store I thought they are a little big. Maybe I want to buy a smaller size but I was going to have to custom order them because they didn't have any and it's a size 8 US uh, so a size says 41.5 euro and so it is 40 millimeters something like that it says there on the bottom so that's what they are I thought the exact same thing about the fit when I bought these I thought they are a little big but I'm going to just take them home and try it and see how it goes. And I love them. I adore them. They're my absolutely favorite running shoes I've ever had. And that's why I'm willing to go with it. It's the exact same size. I felt the exact same thing at the store. Ah, it's a little large, but I'm just going to give it a try. Because the first time it worked out perfect. Couldn't have asked for anything better. Now differences in the model. It's the same size, the same model, just the updated version. Obviously the colors are updated. Design is a little bit changed. The tread is mostly the same, but the main, the gray tread on this one is different than it was before. <coughs> Nothing serious there. Some big changes that I've noticed, the old one has this wonderful huge loop, I can slip my thumb through there to pull it on still have plenty of room. The new one has no loop. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I don't think that's a benefit. I don't know why they chose to take the loop off, but they did. I like it. I like pulling it on. It's one of the things that I did love about it, but it's not there. So I just have to deal with it. Another thing is their lacing system. On this model, they have this beautiful, wonderful lacing system that you pull it, and this is actually a strap that is attached to the tongue on the inside, so your laces only go through the end of the straps, except for the top one. This one has that system, but only for the top two holes. I think that's a bummer. They should have all of them because it made this shoe the most comfortable shoe that I have ever worn. We'll see how it goes. Anyways, that's my update on my new treads. It's beautiful. Blue is my favorite color. So, matches everything. Matches my rain jacket, running shirt. And my new shoes, so we're set. Actually, that's just my most of my running shorts too. So, and my running vest. Look at that; it's all set. Wonderful. So, I'll give you an update a few miles down the road, and come back and let you know if they're being perfectly comfortable, or if I'm gonna go find an older version to buy and move forward with, because. And when, when you find a pair that just works for you, it's you look for it, right? I mean, if they had the same one available, 
I'd go get it. Right. We'll see. Wish me luck. Thanks for joining me.